So the make noise morphogene was the first uh, sound generating module that I got in Eurorack, which in hindsight was kind of crazy. One of my dreams was to use it with sensory percussion to be kind of the ultimate drum machine. So I made this simple beat in Ableton and I uh, we're just gonna use these three sections as splices in the morphogene. So I went ahead and bounced this out and loaded it in, and this is our first slice. Second slice. And third slice. This is sort of like our kick, snare, and hi-hat. The idea here is to use a controller from sensory percussion to switch between splices. This is the kick, um, and I have a velocity controller that only selects zero, so this will go to zero every time I hit the kick. On uh, the snare, I have a, a velocity, like on the head, the any velocity will select kind of the middle of the range, which you can see here, and then on the rim, it'll select just a bit above that which would be the third slice so I have that going out through this CV instrument device which is awesome CC1 is coming down this mod wheel input and we can see those uh, mappings that I made reflected in this slide this little slider right here I have it I have that coming out of the ES8 on channel 1 so we can see that right here. This LED kind of changes brightness along with um, what zone I hit. So I could just patch that in to organize. And if I bring this up, anytime I hit the kick, the kick will be selected. Anytime I hit the snare head, the snare will be selected. And anytime I hit the rim, the hi-hat will be selected. So to make this work nicely, we'll also want to patch the MIDI note on messages to re-trigger these splices. So I have that to come out as gates on the ES8 output number 2. So I could just patch that into this play jack. And now the splices will still loop, but I can reset them every time I hit the zone. And I really like this already. I could patch. This is just a cycling math on the loop. And now I can navigate these slices in the tempo of my playing, but the speed of the samples is changing according to the LFO. Another thing that seems apparent to utilize is the gene size parameter. The gene size is going to select a smaller window of the current splice that we're on. So I have velocity with the CV instrument coming out of the ES8 output number three. So I'm gonna just go ahead and patch that into gene size. And I'm gonna invert it so that when I play harder, we hear the full sample.
I think this approach really comes to life when you utilize the separate rise and fall times. <laughs> We can also use the velocity control on the speed of the sample and one really cool thing about the morphogene is that it can go forwards and backwards uh, continuously. So I'm going to switch on the CV instrument in Ableton, I'm going to switch this velocity output to bipolar which means that it's going to go from negative 5 to positive 5 volts. If I play hard we'll get forwards and if I play soft it'll play backwards. And this fall time is really working for us, so we can slide through that um, forward to backwards transition. Yeah.